Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ms. Corinne from the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, and this is another edition of Makerspace Monday. Now, if you've never joined us before, Makerspace Monday is all about keeping ourselves busy. We try to think about what it would be like to live during Abraham Lincoln's time. Uh, we think about all of the things that they didn't have back then, things like computers and tablets and video games and all that other fun stuff that keeps us busy today. Um, back then, we would have had to figure out a way to keep ourselves busy, to have our own fun. Um, so what we do with Makerspace Monday is we go around the house and we try to find things and turn them into new things. And today, I've made some fun little binoculars. Now, if you have any of these guys hanging around the house, toilet paper rolls, you might have several of them laying around the house or in your recycling bin, or maybe you've got one roll of toilet paper that's just about done. Save these because there's so much fun things, so many fun things that you can do with these. One of them being making a set of magic binoculars. So they're not real binoculars. They're not gonna help me see great distances, but if I want to be creative, if I want to imagine, what I can do is I can look through them and look all the way back in time. I think if I look really hard, I think I can see all the way back to it's 1859. It's definitely Springfield, but it's Springfield 1859. And I think I see President Lincoln walking around Springfield, talking with his friends, enjoying the weather, having a good time. Wow, pretty cool. My binoculars allow me to see into the past. Maybe your binoculars can help you see into different worlds. Maybe your binoculars can help you see into different times and different places. Um, they're really fun. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make your own fun little binoculars with this handy dandy strap so you can wear it around your neck. And next time you go outside, just take a look at what you see. Maybe you'll look up, see a hawk. Maybe you'll look down, see some flowers. Whatever you can imagine, you can look through these binoculars see them. So for this craft, we are going to make the binoculars. And what we're going to need are two paper towel rolls. I like to paint mine because I've got a lot of paint lying around the house. And then you will also need some nice Elmer's glue. This is my favorite thing to use. I love Elmer's glue. It dries pretty quickly. It sticks and it's really not messy and it's not toxic. So it's very important. You'll also need some yarn or some string if you have some laying around the house. I'm going to teach you guys how to braid so we can make a fun little strap for our binoculars. And then anything you want to decorate them with. Um, you can use masking tape if you don't have glue and you can also use the masking tape to decorate with if you have pretty colorful masking tape like I do. Um, you can use little puff balls if you want to glue those on there as well. You can see this pair. I picked all of my favorite bright yellow buttons. I think it looks very nice with the blue. Um, so if you have buttons, grab them, use them, why not? So that's what we're gonna do today. So stick around, um, gather your materials, pause the video if you want to. Um, before you get started though, make sure your parents are okay with you using any of this stuff. If they wanna help you, ask them. See if they wanna get involved, maybe they wanna make some binoculars. Um, whatever you wanna do, just make sure it's okay with them. And grab your stuff, we'll get started in a minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once you have compiled all of your supplies, you've gathered them all together. Um, if you have paint at home, I recommend painting. If you don't, that's fine too, because then what you can do is you can take your paper or your toilet paper roll and you can pull out some markers and you can decorate it, put some stripes, some zigzags, some lightning bolts, polka dots, hearts. I mean, the options are endless. You can do a lot of stuff with this. You guys are creative. You guys are brilliant. You can come up with something fun but mine are painted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of my handy dandy puff paint that I have, and I'm gonna decorate that. So first thing we should probably do is stick these guys together because the glue is gonna take a little bit of time to dry and while it's drying, I'm gonna teach you guys how to braid for your strap. So grab your glue, liquid glue is best. Glue sticks might work, but they might not just be as strong as the glue would be. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to do a straight line of glue all the way down the middle there. So steady hand, nice thick, thick line of glue all the way down to the other side, just like that. See that nice glue stripe there? 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on its side like that and then boom, stick them together. See where that glue's met both sides there? Yeah. So that's gonna sit for a minute. That needs to dry. So while it's drying, now I'm gonna take my puff paint and I'm gonna decorate this with some pretty little spots. Need to test it out first, there we go. See, this is glittery. I'm all about that glitter. Do some spots. Make it look like a night sky. Big fan of polka dots. Big fan of glitter. Big fan of polka dots. Big fan of arts and crafts, really. Best way to pass the time on a gloomy day, create something. Make something beautiful every single day. Okay, so now that I have this painted and it's sparkly with polka dots, white and sparkly shimmery, it's gonna look really nice. Puff paint and liquid glue do take a little bit of time to dry. So beautiful things sometimes take time to complete and that's okay because we've got some time to kill. So we're gonna put this to the side. Maybe ask your caregiver or parent or dad, mom, whoever to put it up for you somewhere so it can dry. So put it up on the countertop, keep it on the table, um, somewhere where it can just stay nice and clean and pristine and perfect so it can dry. While it dries, we're gonna work on the strap, this strap here. So we can wear binoculars around our necks like explorers for when we go out on walks and we can peek at things and always have them handy. It's very important to always have your binoculars handy because you don't want to miss anything. Um, so the strap is made up of three pieces of yarn. Now I've picked a light green, this like pretty lime vibrant green. I have this pretty blue color and then I have this kind of darker, a little bit darker, a little bit brighter, whatever you want to call it, green <laughs> as well. So what I did was I put a knot at the end and I taped it down so that it doesn't move because I don't want it to move while I'm braiding. Now I've already started this one, but the thing about braiding, and if you already know how to do it, that's awesome. Um, I've never learned how to French braid, but this kind of braid, I mean, I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, once I got it, it was pretty easy, um, but it's really just twisting, 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 and then alternating which ones you're twisting. So this blue one is gonna be kind of the one that I'm going to use as a reference. So I'm always gonna focus on this blue one. So the blue one, twist it around the dark green, and now twist it around the light green. Twist it around the dark green, twist it around the light green. Light green, dark green, light green, dark green. Take your time. This is also a really fun way to kill some time. Just braid, braid things. Light green, dark green, light green, dark green. And actually, there are lots of different ways that you can braid. This is just a really simple three-stranded braid, um, but there are ones that you can use like multiple, multiple strands and make it really intricate and make it really pretty. And then you get this nice pretty blue and green pattern emerging. It's gonna be really nice strap for our magical binoculars. So just do this until you reach the end and then we're gonna knot it up. And then once our binoculars are dry, we're gonna attach them. And then we're gonna see some magical stuff with our binoculars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that your binoculars should be nice and dry, um, you've probably given them plenty of time to sit. What we, the last thing we have to do is to attach the nice little strap that's gonna help us keep it around our necks when we go out and explore. Um, you finished your braid. It should look really, really pretty, just like this one. I'm sure it's gorgeous. I'm sure you picked some really pretty colors for it. Um, I've gone ahead and knotted both ends of it so that braid doesn't come undone. You see those knots there? Very simple, just a quick little knot. I'm gonna trim off some of this frilly stuff at the edge very quickly. Be careful using scissors. Always be careful. I have to tell myself that all the time. You just have to be careful. You're gonna knock those off just like that. And we're gonna keep this super simple, attaching these straps. I'm just gonna use some tape. I love my colorful masking tape. I use it for everything. And I'm gonna use it again. So I'm gonna tear off one little piece. Take the end there. Binoculars. All you're gonna do 
put that on there like that. That end of the strap. And now we're going to adhere it to the binoculars. Perfect, wonderful, outstanding. Now you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Another piece of tape, boom. Stick it there on the end. La la la. Wrap it around. And you have it. Now you've done it. Check it out. Binoculars. Aren't they gorgeous? Fantastic. Next time I take a walk, I'll take them out with me and I'll do some bird watching. I'll check out some butterflies. Look, in the, look up in the trees, see what you see, you know? Endless possibilities. It's a great big world out there. And using your magical binoculars, you can open up the world to see brand new things, worlds other than our own. And like I said, maybe yours will let you look into the past. Maybe yours will help you see brand new colors that you've never seen before. Maybe you could look way out into the future. Tell us what's going on. Let me let me know what's happening in the future. That'd be good to know. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's craft. I definitely did. I love making stuff with you guys. Um, love painting, love gluing, love braiding. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay productive. Productive meaning busy. Keep yourselves busy. Find things to do. If you don't have something to do, ask someone if they need help with something. Um, volunteer to do something at home, like folding laundry, doing dishes, anything like that. Um, start a journal. Start painting. Just have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Come back again next Monday. I'll be doing this again. Uh, I love it, and I love hanging out with you guys, and I think you're awesome, and you're brilliant, and just keep on keeping on, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.